Okay, go ahead, homie. You good? All right. So, uh, uh the, so the homie Jaime, right? So, uh, he just started. You know, the homie started making foods, bro. Like this is how you, like on the other side with the anime, you got you got to put in work, whatever, for years, get them to like you, do this and that, get your votes on, do mission for this car now, that car not, and get made, right? And and but they don't tell you, bro. Like you know, it, it's it's you go do the hottest, and then later on, whatever. Okay, yeah, you're in. We, we voted or whatever, whatever. Over here, it's not like that. On GP, I mean, on S and Y's, the homies right here, they'll tell you straight up. Look, bro, you've been hanging with us for a little bit. You want to earn your jersey? They call it a jersey, right? Like a 25 jersey, right? They say earn your number. You know, the dude's five, right? So they'll be like, look, homie, there's a child molester right there. Or there's a serial rapist right there. Or there's the baby killer right there. Go go get that fool, homie. Go beat the dog shit out of them or go whack them or whatever, you know what I'm saying, to earn your jersey, bro. Like, that's how you get it over here. Uh, but you know, bro, you know when you're going to get made, bro. Like, boom, there it is. And you ain't got to go for years throwing your life away, doing 20 damn shoes, and still not get in, bro, and just get used and abused. Nah, child, there's none of that over here. It's righteous over here. And then you're like the carnal. When you're over here on S and Y, then you become the carnal. Now you're the big homie, right? And that's it, bro. That's how it is. And there's a lot of homies like myself who got pushed over here to this side, right? I'll get into that. My story, how I got pushed over here. You know what I'm saying? It was like I just got life, though, and uh, I got a back-to-back, bro. Uh, I got I got, I got, got uh, pushed over here, bro. So it was like, you know, I called out that fool, Mosca, and he broke it down. He straight snitched from San Fe. He straight told the cop, uh, uh, I don't want that piece of crap nowhere near me. When I, when I offered to sell up with him and explain myself about my green light, I only got a green light for taking a deal against uh, against uh, uh, Mondo Fomotero's orders, eh? You know what I'm saying? And he was hating because I whacked his right hand man. And uh, it was cold, bro. It wasn't even a deal to snitch. And after I took that deal, he done. I, I done went and got him acquitted. And I was already on his side or whatever. I'm, so we gonna have a live one right here, bro. You gonna hear a live ass fight right now, bro? Right on stage. I'm tired of motherfuckers pushing up on me, bro. For shit. Okay, well then back up and wait. Give me the respect, bro. Shit, homie. Damn, homie. Damn, I'm about to have to put the yard lock down right now, bro. I'm tired of these fools pushing up over this phone, bro. I try to show them respect, bro. And courtesy, homie, fools take that shit for weakness, bro. I'm a Christian now, bro, but I will beat the devil out of somebody, bro. Yeah, don't do that, bro. Anyways, bro, look. So, 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 the thing that happened with the homies, right? Well, anyways, what happened happening, bro? I got green lighted, bro. So, so Mondo, right? Mondo, Mondo green lighted me for taking the deal, bro. And I got that dude, uh, I got him uh, acquitted, bro. And they tried to bring me back. And I was like, nah, bro, we're waiting for you over here. When you get over here, bro, you're going to get it. You're going to, uh, uh, we got something for you. We got something sharp for you, bro. So, anyways, all Cinqueros over here, the Russian ex Carnales and all that stuff, bro. They're doing their thing, eh? You know what I'm saying? And uh, so the homie over here, uh, Chunky from Verdugo, he's from the Indian Empire. He's a real wanted, he's a real wanted homie right now. He's a real wanted homie. He's done a lot out there in Verdugo. He was going to get made, and he had the Yavas out there for a while. He was doing his thing, eh? But, uh, he didn't get made because uh, uh, that fool, uh, uh, Mike from Pomona, he wanted him to kill his retarded son so that uh, they could get insurance money, homie. And he just wasn't willing to do that, bro. He wasn't willing to do that, bro. So he just didn't want to do that. So anyways, Chunky would end up becoming one of my makers in, into 2-5, right? Him and Jaime Carranza when I hit Pleasant Valley in 2006, right? I hit that yard after doing an indeterminate shoot three years. Uh, I refused to snitch on my co-defendant, Mondo. So they hit me, uh, they said, we're going to invalidate you as a Sureño. I said, you can't. I'm dropping out. They refused to do that. They refused to do it. And uh, 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 they were like, well, then, look, we're, we're going to give you an editor shoot because I had six stabbings. Well, actually, three stabbings in the county jail. I had three stabbings in the county jail that I got caught for, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so when that happened, and, and I got caught with straps and all kinds of stuff, bro, so... They used that against me because I refused to testify on Mondo and go through that little torch. Because uh, 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 uh. the feds, they were going to let me out, bro. I could have been home in 2003 if I would have told on this fool. I could have just slid out the back door, bro. But I didn't do it, bro. I stayed solid even though I was on s and I dropped out or whatever, bro. You know what I'm saying? I still stood solid, homie, and I had to pay the price for it, man. I went through Tehachapi torture therapy, bro. That was it, bro. It was ugly right there, bro. All right, but uh, look, homie, this is my homie 50 right here. All right, look, so uh, what I was I was telling you guys about this 2-5 uh, uh, history and um, how I got wrapped up in that gang, that prison gang on this side. Uh, like, the whole reason, the whole point uh, to me telling you these stories is to show you guys, like, when someone is lost, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are lost, and they don't even know it because a lot of homies that are raised up in gangs through generations, 
this is normal to them. This is all we know. You know, our family has taught us this. Our uncles, our grandparents, our, you know, some people. My, my family has taught me right, you know what I'm saying? But my, my father's side was involved in gangs and all that. So I grew up in East L.A. Uh, knowing all this stuff, learning this, seeing it, seeing the violence and all that. But my point is this, right? I'm trying to show you guys how the Bible is real uh, today as it was back in the days, right? So in Luke, I believe it's in Luke, it says a kingdom divided by itself, uh, a kingdom uh, uh, like conflicting within itself will fall. Satan going against Satan will fall, right? And that's what happened in the story that I told you guys about, uh, two five, uh, uh, rising from the Emmy from the Mexican mafia. There was internal conflict within the organization. Uh, Jaime Carranza uh, whacking uh, another Emmy member. That was the internal conflict, but he did that for his blood brother, right? There's also scripture in there that says, uh, greater love has no one in this than to lay down with life for his friends. So, but what they're talking about is Jesus, right? I used to think they were talking, like when I read that scripture when I was younger, I used to think that was uh, something brave of me to do. I used to be on the front lines out there gangbanging, putting my life on the line for my homies. But God had a bigger plan for me. You know what I'm saying? They were dying at my side, and I never died. I never got shot by no enemies. I never got stabbed by no enemies. And, but everybody around me seemed to be dying, man. Like my guardian angels were working double shifts, man, to keep me alive. You know what I'm saying? But that's what happens, man. That's what happens, homies. Uh, you know, uh, Jaime, you know, he, he got his right off for his brother. He sacrificed his life and his gangster career. But he was still gangster, you know. He, he, he whacked that fool while he was under escort by the cops, and they try to say he, that was a PC move because he did it while the cops were there. But in prison, actually, whenever you're stabbing anybody, cops are around. They're going to be there within 30 seconds. Now, they ain't gonna, uh, most times they ain't going to stop in 30 seconds. They're going to let you guys do your thing or whatever. But, you know, he banged on the back saying, I did it despite the cops. Like, in other words, you mess with my family, I don't care if police are there. I'm going to whack you. And he got shot for that. He got shot with a mini-14. They took him down. You know what I'm saying? But he shook it off. You know what I'm saying? He's an OG. I respect that man. You know, he ain't like hella loped out, loud mouth gangster. He's real humble. But he will he will put he will handle business when it's time to handle business. But that kingdom got divided. The Emmy, there's so much conflict in the Emmy, even nowadays, man. Uh they're killing each other. You know what I'm saying? Their empire is slowly crumbling. S N Y is deep. We're way deeper than G P nowadays. We're it's like eighty to twenty right now. You know what I'm saying? We're we're taking over these yards and right now on level ones, twos, and threes, what they're doing is they're mixing the yards again. They're calling they're, they're not fifty fifty yards. Now they're calling them non designated yards. But they are fifty fifty yards. There's active and there's dropouts right here, you know what I'm saying? And there's hella riots going on. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. You guys don't want to be wrapped up in that, youngsters. You guys are gonna come to prison for doing some dumb stuff out there, man. And you're just gonna throw your life away, homies. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go out there, you're gonna get caught up, you're gonna think you're doing something for the cops, for the homies, and you're gonna get Locked up. You're going to go to jail, homie, and you're going to see it's a whole different trip to jail, man. you got to sell up with your enemies. Be cool with your enemies. Be fools that are killing your homies on the streets, and it ain't going to make no sense. Gang banging does not make no sense, homie, and it took me a long time to realize that. Even when I dropped out, when I joined the gang, the 2-5 gang, right, I still didn't learn my lesson because I got pushed over to this side. You know what I mean? So I was just like, I still had it in me. Well, I wanted to get my right on, you know what I'm saying? And I and I have been, and it took me a long time to get to where I'm at now, right here, evangelizing. Uh, 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 I'm on God's track right now, man. It took me a long time to get here, you know, but throughout the years, I've been helping people. Uh, I've been uh, uh, helping people getting bullied and stuff like that throughout the years. Even though I was banging, I was still always reading my Bible. I always go to church. I always try to get right with God, but I'm trapped in the devil's playground, you know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta handle ours in here, you know what I'm saying? And, like, really, God's the only thing that got me through. All my homies... I ain't got no homies. Abandon me. As soon as I crossed over, all the work I put in for the hood is done with. It don't matter. And they're going to do the same thing to you. Ain't no hind is going to be coming to visit you unless it's like your wife or your righteous one. But then she might be out there messing around with Sancho. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you, like my road dog, Eddie Faco Ochoa from Northside Cool. And this was my road dog, my righteous little homie, bro. He snitched on me. He straight told And he's still active. I gave him a pass. He was running old San Bernardino County a while back. I just heard the other day he married my hyena, Monica. Like, damn, homie, like, that's the type of stuff that happens, man. When you're gone, there's a saying when the dog, there's a saying when the dog goes away, the cat comes out to play. And all the little hoodies out there, all them little turf fuzz, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? If you get locked up, man, homie, it's going to be all bad, man. Your homie's going to leave you. Your hyena's going to leave you. You know what I mean? Just 
it's going to get ugly, bro, and you're going to see what you're about in here. You're going to have these, these old vatos out here trying to tell you what to do, trying to run your program. Or you can tap out, come over to my side, and just do what you want to do. Kick back, relax, do your time, and go home. Or, you know what I mean, get your ride on over here. I don't agree with the drug deals and all that. I, I don't I don't get involved with no kind of drug stuff. But over here on NYS, there's no taxing like that going on. Unless you're a, a sex offender, then you're getting jacked and molly whopped and all that, right? But, like, if you were some type of drug dealer or something and you're hitting dope at visits and all that, you don't got to pay no one taxes. Over there on that on the GP side, if you want to be a little bar or whatever, you got to pay the man an ounce just to bring in an ounce or two to bring in two. And then you got to break off a third of your money from that ounce, even after you gave them an ounce, and a third of your of the dope. And if you want to sell papers, you can't even sell papers bigger than theirs. You know what I'm saying? So they got control of you every every step of the way. First time you get online, you're going to get whacked. They got this one thing called the Popeye Special, right? Over here in Corcoran, man, it's ridiculous. I can't believe it. They named it after an escort. Nah, he just got killed over here in Corcoran last year. Uh, his name was Popeye, man. This fool, he used to humiliate the camaradas, the sureños over there. If they wrecked or they messed up or anything, got caught, uh, dro- uh, 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 like with a weapon or a kite or something. If they messed up somehow, he would say, instead of killing you, you got to bend over and I'm going to stab you in your butt cheeks. You know what I mean? What kind of stuff is that? That's like, this is supposed to be your big homies, man. It's supposed to give you guidance. They ain't doing that. He'll stab them in their butt cheeks with a strap, and then he'll uh, attack them for a thousand, and then make them go on a mission. You know what I mean? This is their cleanup. Like, he's doing them a favor. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of his stuff, man. That's, that's What kind of homies are these, man? You know what I'm saying? They're humiliating the homies. Or they treat them like hyenas. They straight up, they punk them. That's what we call GP getting punk. You know what I mean? And fools over there, man. They're over there. I feel bad for them, man. They're going through it, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. They didn't want to parole like there's some kind of big shots running running the yards and all that. Uh, they want to go out and run their body and do all that. They just make more money for the homies or whatever, you know. But, I mean, that's that's what they're giving their lives to, man. I suggest you youngsters don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Give your life to God. Find God before the devil finds you, man. He's coming for your soul, man. He wants you, man.